Hey, everybody, it's Ethan from V100 Topeka's Rock Leader here with our friend Mike at Equaventure Farms. Mike, how are you doing today? Doing great. Thank you. All right, man. You know, I'm so excited to talk to you about what you guys do at Equaventure Farms because I think that it's really cool. Um, so can you tell me a little bit more about the company and what you guys do? Sure. We are Equaventure Farms is a family owned organization uh, for over 20 years. Uh, this organization has been providing supports and services to adults with intellectual disabilities. Um, we own uh, various properties at various locations within the city and the county where we house our uh, clients 24-7. Uh, we also have a day service here at Equaventure, and we have lots of activities going on at the day service. Uh, we have a, we, we teach a, a cooking class, we have a jewelry making class, uh, arts class, including French. Uh, we also have a, a nice gymnasium, an indoor gymnasium to play for all kinds of indoor activities. And then we have another building that we do gaming in. So, and, and of course, all of this is surrounded by beautiful horses. So it's, it's really kind of a cool place out here. And, uh, the other thing I wanted to, to mention briefly is uh, Equaventure Farms is very, very important to us that we, our goal and our objective is to provide opportunities for all of our uh, clients uh, within the community, the same types of opportunities that you and I have, Ethan. Uh, we want to make sure, you know, they have an opportunity to, to work, to have employment, uh, simple things like going to the grocery store, going to events, uh, participating in activities, things like that. Uh, very important that we ensure their independence. Absolutely. You guys are doing some great stuff. And right now um, you're hiring, bring some yes. people in to help make sure that all of this, um, all the activities go smoothly and all that good stuff. Can you tell me a little bit about what kind of employees you guys are looking for and uh, what positions you currently have open? Sure. Uh, you know, keeping it really simple, uh, we're looking for people who care about people. Uh, that's the most important thing. Uh, this is a family owned organization. So, you know, we want people that treat people with dignity, with respect, uh, like we would treat your own grandmother, grandfather, mother and father. I mean, that's how important it is that we get the right people here. Uh, we want caregivers who are going to be dedicated, they're going to be committed, very, very hard working. Uh, we, and again, this seems pretty simple, but we want people that really mean what they say and they come to work and they show up on time. And even though that sounds really simple, the, if, if we can get that, uh, then we can give the best care and the best supports and services to the folks that we take care of. So we want people that are really committed to that. Um, the other thing, too, is we're looking for direct care staff right now. And uh, when I say direct care staff, these are the folks who support and assist uh, the clients when they're at their, uh, their residence. Uh, they might help with cooking, doing laundry, cleaning. You know, they're, gonna, they're going to be a coach, a teacher, uh, someone who's going to guide them. And during certain times, they might administer medications also. Uh, we do have overnight shifts. Those are 12 hour shifts. We have afternoon shifts, which are generally uh, going to be four hour shifts. And then we have daytime hours, which is mainly at our day service. Uh, so that kind of gives you an idea of the opening openings that we have right now and what we're looking for. Absolutely. Sounds like you guys have got some flexible options too. You know, if some folks yes. don't want to work the full 12 hours, you've got an option for the four hour shifts and everything. So uh, that sounds really great. Are there any other opportunities within the company um, other than the caregiver position? Oh, sure. I mean, uh, occasionally we, we do have healthcare coordinators and, and uh, it doesn't happen very often, but those positions come open. Uh, that would be a promotion. Uh, we also have supervisory positions uh, that uh, are all allocated uh, a certain number of the residences out in the community. And those positions, uh, you know, they open occasionally too. So there are opportunities to promote within the organization. And at times we also have uh, openings in clerical help in the office. Awesome. Now, does somebody have to have experience to apply for one of these jobs to get hired or anything like that? Or do you guys take the time to uh, train someone if you believe they're the right person for the position? 
Oh, absolutely. I mean, experience would be is obviously if they have experience, that's fantastic. Uh, but but it's not required. Uh, when we bring in new employees, we're going to run them through a battery of training uh, that actually that I teach, and we're going to teach them everything that we know about caring for folks uh, with intellectual disabilities, uh, policies, procedures, first aid, CPR. Uh, very important that we give them all the tools they need to do the job. Absolutely. Now, uh, when people are looking for an application or anything like that, where, the, where can they go? Your website, you have an email. Yes. On, if you go to our website, uh, there's going to be an email on there. Um, and mine is mike at equiventurefarmsllc.com. Uh, or you can call the, our organization directly and the phone number is on the website too. And ask for Michael and uh, we'll get you started. What's the web address, Mike? The web address would be Equiventure Farms. Uh, .org. Echoventurefarms.org. So if people are looking to apply, head over there. Mike's email and a phone number right there on the website. You can get your applications in, resumes, all of that good stuff. Is there anything else you want anybody to know about Equiventure Farms before we let you go? No, uh, I appreciate the opportunity and I'm hoping this uh, reaches out to a few folks and, and we can get some folks in here. I know there's a lot of good people that live in this community and I know a lot of them, uh, you know, really, really enjoy working with people. And this is a pretty fulfilling career uh, for people that really, really enjoy this. Uh, it, there's days where it can be exhausting, but then there's days that that can turn into, into uh, gratification so quick and so fast because of the, the folks that we're working with. Uh, they really want good people out here too, because it's all about building relationships. Absolutely. So if you're somebody who uh, just cares about people, even if you don't have any experience in the field, be sure to check out Equiventure Farms. They are currently looking for some new employees. Thank you so much for chatting today, Mike. I really appreciate it. No, appreciate the time. Thank you, Ethan.